Alright. I'm going to show you how I, I use like several different sounds and the micro X and be able to play them at the same time. Um, on the micro X originally, I think you going to play like three or four sounds at the same time. But I'm going to show you how to play all 16 at the same time using sonar. Um, I got four tracks on my other video I was making a beat. And I got four tracks of MIDI um, pulled up right now. I'm going to delete all of them. And I'm going to change the sounds really quick. String sound. This one. Drums. Is a saw strings and go to channel four. Mm. May leave that. So I'm gonna play all these sounds at the same time. Let's throw a fifth one in there just for kicks. What I'm doing is hitting the input echo off button on all the tracks. That way when I hit the keys, they all will play at the same time. So now this one you gotta do some mixing because it doesn't sound it doesn't sound that great. So let's see here. I got kind of sounds all right then all I have to do is arm all of them for recording
sweeter. That's my input right there, and I can add effects to it. Let's see here. Let's say if I want to add um, clear reverb. back um, let's say a flanger I right, got three more minutes um yeah I can add a flanger um, to the input of my of the keyboard because I got it going into my um, right input because I have two inputs left and the right and still got the keyboard going to my left my right input and the effects that I put on the right input you're gonna hear in real time um, so let's say I like the sound I want to I wanted to record it in wave or in audio so I take off all my inputs excuse me I need them more then I open up an audio track and just hit record. Now, since I have it, I have it set on um, a four count, you know, before it start recording. If I just want to skip that and just want to just start recording, because of course I had it, you know, four count in for me to make um, make the loop. Um, but to skip that, I can hit record and play at the same time. It's easy to do on my PCR 500, but if you want to do it on your regular computer keyboard. You hit the R and the space bar at exactly the same time, and it will skip that. And normally it would, you know, record. But me having the internet and stuff on. I'm only using a Pentium 3 computer. Y'all have to bear with me, all right? But it does the job. Um, and that's pretty much how I use it, you know, to be able to have multiple sounds going off at one time. I basically be, um, put the echo on. I click on that button on all the tracks that I want to be able to play at the same time. And it works with software, too, so if you got plugins and your computer's uh, powerful enough for you to run that many um, sounds at one time you just do that on your uh, MIDI tracks and you'll be able to play uh, multiple sounds at one time all right peace oh yeah make sure you go by bigline.com too